Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are just seeing this channel for the very first time, my name is Omosa Mary Jane. In today's video, we are going to be discussing about how to reference a single authored book. And I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide how to do a proper reference of a single authored book. It is very important for you to reference your work in an academic writing. So in, so in this video, we are going to be discussing about how to do proper referencing both at the referencing session and also in the in-test citations. Let's go right into the video. There are several reasons why it is important for you to reference your work. One of the reasons why it is very important for you to reference your work is because it gives credit to the authors. Secondly, it helps you to avoid plagiarism. Also, it supports your argument that whatever you are saying in your writing is from credible sources. There are several referencing styles that you can use to reference your work. First, there is the APA referencing style. Next, there is the MLA and also the Chicago. The style that you will use to re reference your academic work will be based on the style that is recommended in the particular research that you are carrying out. It may be that you are asked to use the APA, it can be that you are asked to use the MLA, and as the case may be. So, first of all, decide the, decide the style that you want to use to reference your work. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to reference your work in uh, three referencing styles, in uh, the APA style, MLA, and also in Chicago. Now, let us go on to the elements that is needed for a proper reference. First, we need the author's name, which is the last name and the first initial. Next, year of publication. Next, the title of the book, then also the publisher's name, and then the edition, if if you are using the APA style, the format for writing a single authored book in APA style is you write the author's, author's name first, the initials, the year, the title of the book, and the publisher. So, having an example here, you can see Smith J, 2020, Understanding Psychology, Psychology Press. Now, Smith is the author's surname. J is the author's uh, initial, the author's first name initial. 2020 is the year of publication. Understanding Psychology is the title of the book and Psychological Press is the publisher. Now, if you want to follow the MLA style, following the MLA style, the format for referencing the MLA style is the author last name, and the first name, then the title of the book, the publisher, and the year. So, example for uh, the MLA style is Smith John, Understanding Psychology, Psychology Press 2020. So, you can see from this uh, MLA style that you need to write the author's surname, then you write the first name in full. Unlike the APA style, where you need to initialize your first name. Next for the MLA style is the title. So the year is not written before the title, unlike the APA style. So you write the title, after that is the publication, and then the year of publication. The Chicago style for referencing a single authored book is simply writing the author's last name, the first name, title of the book, publisher, and the year. This looks more like the MLA style. So write the author's surname, which is an example I have here, Smith, next, John in full, next, the title of the book, next, psychological, psychology press, and then the year. So now we are moving on to intense citation. Intense citation explains how to cite a book within the text. If you are citing a book within your text, within the text of your work, all you need to do, if you are using the MA, APA style, 
All you just need to do is to write the surname and the year. If you are using the MLA style, if you are using the MLA style, all you need to do is to write the surname and then put the specific page. If you are using the Chicago style for in-text citation, write the surname of the author, the year of publication, and the page. So with this, I have explained to you how to reference a single authored book. I have explained how to reference a single authored book following the APA style of referencing, the MLA style of referencing, and the Chicago style of referencing. I will encourage you to please like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Please turn on your bell notification so that whenever I post a video, you'll be notified. I will see you in my other videos. Bye for now.